Tonight on CTV News. A new bike shelter is making life much easier for CSU commuters. See the unique design used to keep your bike safe. Plus, the puppy plunge was yesterday. We've got plenty of furry friends to show you. And entertainment anchor Nicole Conklin got an inside look at one of Fort Collins' biggest annual events. All this tonight on CTV. Hello Rams, and thanks for tuning in to tonight's episode of CTV. I'm Sierra Symes. And I'm Madison Sloan. A new bike shelter is making life much easier for CSU commuters. See the unique design. There are 50,000 spaces to park a bike on campus, but CSU is adding just a few more for commuters who use the MAX Transit bus system. The new spaces allow anyone to park their bike overnight and are packaged a little differently than your average bike rack. I think we'll see transit riders that want to use it first. Certainly people that use our parking lot might also want to leave, uh, leave a bike here as well. But I think transit users and park, people that park here on campus will probably be your first desired user of the system. The Flex today runs from Longmont to Fort Collins. In January, that route's going to run from Boulder all the way to Fort Collins on select trips. That's really important because someone who might live in Boulder could ride to the transit station, drop their bike off there, ride transit to Fort Collins and to, to the university, check a bike out here, ride to their office. We really want to support that. All students and employees can ride that route for free. I think I'd use it, um, especially with the Max now going down to Denver. You could come park your bike here, um, go to Denver, come back, ride your bike home, and you wouldn't even have to drive your own car. So I really think it's a good idea and, you know, uh, make a more bike-friendly community and also, you know, better for the environment if everyone's biking instead of driving. So. A $10,000 grant from the Colorado Department of Transportation is funding the construction of the bike shelters. The new transit system Rams Route will begin this coming Friday. Busting is partnering up with Colorado State University to provide a pa passenger service for students and faculty between Fort Collins and Denver. This will be the first expansion of Busting since the Colorado Department of Transportation launched the service in July. Round trip tickets will cost $19 and will need to be purchased online. Yeah, it's super exciting. The Colorado Department of Transportation is bringing their new bus, the Bustang, to CSU starting Friday, September 21st. It'll be the first direct transit connection for our students from Fort Collins straight to Denver Union Station. Students will have a direct shot. They won't need to use a personal vehicle to get there anymore. They can reserve the bus online. It's $19 round trip. And the bus picks up at Plum and Meridian on campus. The final steps of approval are set in place for a new downtown Fort Collins hotel. Today, the Fort Collins Planning and Zoning Board will hear the proposal for a five-story, 162-room hotel located on the corner of Chestnut and Walnut. It's equipped with a restaurant, two bars, 3,500 feet of conference space, and ground floor retail. If approved, demolition of the former Armadillo restaurant and IASIS Church could begin later this year. Construction of the hotel would start in January, with plans to open the building in early 2017. Fort Collins residents and their four-legged friends took City Park Pool by storm last night. The 12th annual Puppy Plunge took place at 4 o'clock to raise money and awareness about adoption centers in Fort Collins. The Parks and Recreation Department partnered with the Advanced Animal Care Clinic to run out three, the pool for three hours. Lines were out the door and down the street with puppies waiting to play. The event had over 700 participants made up of dogs of all shapes and sizes. Vendors ranging from specialty dog treat companies all the way to puppy swimming lessons help support the event by donating doggy gift bags and sending tents around the, setting up tents around the pool lawn. The event was started in 2003 by Krista Hobbs after she read about an indoor swimming pool that allowed people to bring their dogs to swim. Since then, it has transformed into an event that helps, money rate, helps raise money for shelters and vet clinics around Fort Collins. McDonald's breakfast is already a fast and expensive morning meal, but tomorrow morning they'll be serving breakfast for free.
The only catch, you have to be in kindergarten to eighth grade to get the free meal deal. Wednesday morning, all McDonald's in Colorado will be serving free, healthy breakfast to kids. Options include the Egg White Delight McMuffin, Apple Slices, and 1% White Milk. Minute Maid and the Western Dairy Association are funding the freebie, all to highlight the importance of eating a good breakfast. Now, I have to say, I don't know if this is going to be a really healthy breakfast for kids. I mean, there's egg whites, there's a lot of healthy options, but is McDonald's ever really healthy? I mean, I think eating a breakfast in general is good for kids, especially when they're growing. I know that I didn't eat breakfast all the time when I was in middle school, and I'm like five feet tall, so I could still probably <laughs> pass and get that breakfast tomorrow morning, but you know, you never know. <laughs> sure, we'll, uh, we'll put you in some pigtails and send you out there. Sounds perfect to me. <laughs> when we come back, Elizabeth Prossy will be here with a full forecast. Stay tuned.